A. Conic section. Some of the best examples of ellipses are in the solar system. Throughout the year, scientists have developed hundreds of theories regarding the formation of the solar system. The creation of our solar system took place billions of years ago, leaving scientists nothing but limited resources with which to develop their theories. The belief that the solar system evolved from a huge cloud of gas is the most common among scientists, but if we take a closer look at how it was formed, we will find that the solar system came about after gas began collapsing due to how strongly gravity was acting on it. With the force acting upon it, the huge cloud of gas began moving in a circular motion. Yes, it did. It began moving in a circular motion. At the very center of this huge cloud, a star began to take shape. Gradually, this very star increased in size as more and more gas collapsed into it. Eventually, the central star ignited and became what we know today as our sun. And the smaller groups of gas became our planets, moons, asteroids, and others. This is a theory behind our solar system. Ellipses have five major components. These are the center, foci, vertices, major axis, and minor axis. The center of the ellipse is quite self-explanatory as it is defined as the very middle of the conic section. The full side of the ellipse always lie on the major axis with equal amount of space between it and the center. When talking about ellipses, the word vertex comes up a lot. Vertices are the points of an ellipse that lie on the major axis. These two points are the points that are farthest away from each other. The major and minor axes are not the same in every list, so we cannot simply say that the x-axis is the major axis while the y-axis is the minor one. The axis whose length is longest is the one that we refer to as the major one. In turn, the other axis is named the minor axis. All of these components make up the ellipse.